Hey, welcome back to another Best of AI weekly recap. In this video, I'm going to talk about all of the great things that have happened this week in the AI world. There is a lot going on, so let's get right into it. The first story that I wanna to break to you is Twitter. So Twitter, now known as X, God. Why do we have to call it X? Twitter, now known as X, has announced that they have intentions to use the user's data to train their AI model. Now, we know Elon Musk has been really vocal about wanting to create an X AI, which is one of his newest companies to really figure out how he can submerge himself in the AI space. And he has now announced that Twitter X is going to be a huge component of training the AI model. This was all announced in X's updated privacy terms, but there has been no clear indication of what the true goal of the AI model will be. There has been speculation that the purpose of the AI is to kind of go to head to head with LinkedIn. As one of the key distinctions in the privacy policy update was for the AI to specifically take data for job functions and education information. And speaking of privacy policy updates, Facebook has announced that they will allow users to delete the data that has been used to train their AI. AI models. So with this new function, users can go in and toggle on a little toggle that says, I don't want my data to be used and Facebook will comply. So this is a funny story. So you know how if you go to a AI website and it's .ai, well, actually it's really not about artificial intelligence. It really stands for Anguilla, which is a country. So that is a country code. .ai is a country code and that country code is making tons of money for Anguilla. The revenue from .ai domains is projected to make Anguilla 30 million dollars just for using the .ai domain. And this is really interesting because Anguilla is usually known for their tourism, but this is another revenue stream to help them out. This week, Google announced that they have intentions to upgrade Google Meet and add the capabilities for AI to take meeting notes for you. Also allow AI to attend meetings on behalf of users, which is a really interesting feature. As we know, most companies are either some type of hybrid async and in office or maybe completely async Sync. So the ability for AI to attend meetings is really interesting and for it to take notes is really interesting. We're going to definitely be using that because we use Google Meets in our day-to-day -day workflow. So it'll be interesting to see once that releases. There's been a huge shift in schools and universities saying, hey, you can't use ChatGPT. But now they're reversing that. Now they're saying you can use ChatGPT. This is very similar to when calculators were first introduced, right? Everyone was doing handwritten math equations and the calculators came through. Everyone's like, you can't use that. That's cheating, right? It's the same thing with AI and AI tools, specifically ChatGPT, you need to use ChatGPT as a tool and universities and schools around the country are understanding that it's just a tool and if you can use it, it will help students get to better outputs, better outcomes when it comes to schooling. Of course, we love AI and we love talking about these stories. However, AI has a dark side, unfortunately, and we have to talk about the elephant in the room, which is misinformation. There have been a lot of people talking about this because it is a real threat, right? If ChatGPT or AI, AI agents are able to fabricate fabricate stories and you know we have deep fake technology now how do we handle that and unfortunately there's a lot of dark web actors out there who have been using chat gpt to spread misinformation and this propaganda machine is a new one that has been cited on different dark web publications where you could pay $400 and get a version of ChatGPT that is strictly used for propaganda. So what this thing will do is you will feed it some audio clips from a newscaster, right? And then it will make that newscaster say something that they never said. Could you imagine presidents saying things that they never said? It's pretty crazy to think about that this is the territory where we're headed. So we need to be mindful of the tools. Yes, they're amazing, but we need to be a bit cautious as we know that bad people will definitely use AI for bad things. And along those lines, US congressmen from all 50 states have come together to formulate some type of plan to stop children being exploited in AI. Now, of course, you can take that story where you want to go, but the point is there's a lot of laws that are going to be created as AI advances. And one of the laws is going to be protecting children, but also just protecting the general public from seeing things that should not be seen or be created using AI. Speaking of fabrication, this is an interesting story. So this guy created a song, a fake song, with Drake and The Weeknd, which are both rap and musical artists, and he actually wants to submit the song to the Grammys. That's right, that song is completely fabricated. Drake, The Weeknd, and all the other artists that he has created have not said the things that he 
has told them to say, right? It's just AI using their voice and just using music that's created by AI as well. And the song went viral on TikTok. It went viral on Instagram and YouTube. Of course, those labels took those songs down as soon as possible. Now the guy who has created these fake songs wants to submit those songs to the Grammy. We don't know who the guy is. He goes by Ghost Rider, but he wants to submit the songs to the Grammys. Now, this is interesting just because of all the copyright laws that we've seen and people say you can't copyright AI music. So if that's the case, hmm, maybe he can submit it to the Grammys. We'll see how it plays out. Similar to Google, Zoom has announced that they want to also get into the AI game. Their intentions is to create AI bots to help support users when they're taking their meetings. Just like Google, they're gonna have an AI bot that transcribes, takes notes, etc. So this is a continuing trend that we're going to see where companies will introduce AI into their platforms when it comes to users completing the different tasks in the software or platforms. And we know this trend will continue because the values of these companies continue to skyrocket. Dell just announced an impressive second quarter earnings and their shares have skyrocketed by 22%. And that's all thanks to AI. And of course, because AI takes so much computing power, Dell is in a really good spot to provide those different components that the AI companies need. And those companies include Glean AI, which just announced a $4.9 million raise to help solve hallucinations in AI. And Kendo, who just announced a $7 million seed funding to help businesses improve their workflows using AI. And it's not just companies getting started. Incumbents like HubSpot has announced recently that they have intentions to go all in using AI with their platform. And the intention there is to make sure that sales and marketing teams have alignment using AI. Some of the AI strategy includes AI assistants, AI agents, AI insight, and chatspot. With all these tools, the intention is to make sure that the user of HubSpot has the utmost efficiency when it comes time to pull reports or just give data to the teams that are using the CRM. And speaking of AI tools, Canva has announced a GPT plugin that will allow you to use Canva directly inside of ChatGPT. It's really cool. So if you have an idea for a poster or just a general image, you can tell ChatGPT using natural language to create that image using Canva. And then you can open that image directly inside of your Canva account so that you can do further editing. And to continue on talking about tools, here are the top five tools that were added to our database this week. Number one, voice flow. Now this tool is really cool because what you can do is create different AI agents, either using voice or chat. So you can create chat bots using voice flow and then add them to your website with ease. It's really awesome. I suggest you go play around with it. You'll create some really cool things. Number two, fresh feed. This tool optimizes ChatGPT and other LLMs by adding direct access to the browser. As you know, ChatGPT stopped browsing the web in 2021. So there is two years, almost three years years of data that ChatGPT doesn't have access to, so FreshFeed solves that. Number three, Tandem GPT AI. This tool allows you to simulate conversations before they happen. So if you're a sales agent or just someone that is going to have a really hard conversation, you can kind of simulate that with this tool and then go in it really confident, have the answers to any questions or objections that may occur. Number four, Open Hire AI. This is an AI tool that will help you create better subject lines, headlines, pre-headlines for all the different content pieces that you're creating. And last but not least, number five, PodCut. This tool basically cuts up your long form content and it makes it really easy for you to repurpose that content on the different platforms like TikTok, Shorts, or Reels. And that's it for this weekly recap. Let us know what you thought about all the AI news in the comments down below. Give us a big thumbs up if you like this video and make sure to subscribe. Go to bestofai.com so you can browse over 7,000 AI tools just like the ones that I talked about today. That's it for this video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.